good everybody, Budget Collector here with our brand new The Real Ghostbusters GameStop exclusive San Diego Comic-Con 2019 exclusive. And yes, I did say San Diego, but whatever is whatever, it happens. So this is a Diamond Select Toys. Um, been dying to get it, was hoping I would, and think he, think he came through. I say that a couple times fast. Um, they really helped me out and made sure I got it. And um, let's get this box, you know, break this box open and see what's inside. So, you have the great outside artwork here. You have all them. Plus, you have the classic traditional Ghostbusters symbol right there. Side, just simple. You can see through it. Back. Shows you what you're getting. You have um, the four Ghostbusters spectral um, versions, which is from an episode of the TV show from... I think late 80s, early 90s, I forget the exact year. Plus you have Terror Dog and you have Mr. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. What's better than that? Let's see, does it say anything else? Nope, just the normal stuff across the bottom. Rip this right open. Boom. So, over here you have Slimer. You have them in their, um, their, Ghost it's not the van. Yeah, the, the Ghost Buster, the Buster Mobile, yeah. And over here, you see them. So people who are not open box collectors, this will still work great for. Um, I don't know if it's coming through because the there's a glare. Glare, yeah. Our lighting is really messing with it. But the people who don't want to open this box you don't have to. You'll still have great vision of it. It'll still look great, and people will still get to enjoy it. So let's toss it right open and see what's inside the box. It's a huge box. Behind yes, you. this thing is huge. Um, Heavy. Yeah, my my woman carrying it out of the mall looked hilarious because the box was literally about the same exact size as her. Um, a guy saw us on the way out. He literally stopped us and was asking us, you know, what are we doing? Explained how we do YouTube. Ladies and he's jealous. Yep. He said he loved it. He was jealous and he was going to become one of our subscribers. So if you did subscribe, and a shout out to you. Thank you for uh, noticing in the mall. Oh, this is looking great already. You see the terror dog, he does come with some extra horns. Stay puff, old stay puff, looking all puffy and stay puffy. Um, each one of them has their proton packs, and then there's two, three, four of the collectors for the Go. ghosts. And there's some, looks like some effects to make it look like they're uh, shooting it out. I'm going to get these out and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Finally got them out of the pack. There was about a hundred little twist ties. We were snipping. It looked like we were kung fu fighting over here how it was going. But we finally got everything out. So we got the four Spectral Ghostbusters. We have Mr. State Puff, Terror Dog. It comes with... A the video. So the terror dog comes with extra horns. These seem to be a little longer. I'm gonna put one in on him of each. That way you can see the difference. We'll see what one looks better. So here's the short one. Here's the long one. What one do you think looks better? You let me know down in the comments here. But he has articulation in his mouth. Head moves greatly around right here. This thing is fully articulated. This is great. It is a little pain, a little bit of a pain to stand. All these figures are, but we're going to get some great photos out of this in the next day or so. Look at that. That is great looking. I'm very pleased with that. Moving right along. Let's go with one of the busters. So... All the articulation and everything is the same with each one. So if I show you one, it's pretty much showing you each one. I'll show you the face sculpt and all that on each, but all right. Shoulders, elbow, wrist. You got the flick of the wrist. And I'm a little, little uh, leery about really forcing much with this. All this transparent, Plastic always seems to be way more brittle, so I definitely don't want to break anything. 
but it is, you know, very well articulated. Especially for diamond figure, I'm very happy with that. So he has his proton pack here. And he can fit it right in his hand, I think. Yep. So standing wise, they're not very good. We'll have to get stands for him to stand while doing action poses. There is four proton packs, four of the containment units. These things look great, great detail. They're all hit with that little bit of slime or whatever you want to call it. They each have a great look. And they'll sit right on the proton pack so each figure could be carrying theirs. That looks great. We're going to run through the head sculpts real quick. So depending on who's your favorite, you'll be able to see. It looks good though. Love the hair on this one. That came out great. Again, each one of these looks, just looks I like amazing. His swirl. You like his swirl? The glasses, the glasses look really cool. I'm um, oh, very pleased with this. Looks like a tunnel hair. <laughs> the tunnel hair. Look at that. That looks great. So each one of these looks great. Then it does come with four of these. Of course, I drop them like I do everything else. I'll set up one of the figures with with it and uh, see how it is. Okay. So as you see, he's set up. He has it blasting. He will be able to stand. You've got to be very careful with this uh, transparent plastic. It always breaks. So you make sure you're very easy with it. Um, but you will be able to get them all set up where they're, where, where they're fighting either the uh, Terror Dog or Mr. Stay Puff. But like I said, it really looks great. Moving right along to the last figure in the set, and it is Stay Puff. Now, he definitely has a good weight on him. Articulation, let's see. Yeah, he's got some good articulation in the head. Be able to move around, arms. Man, I feel like I'm looking in the mirror looking at Stay Puff. Um, legs, a little articulation, like not a lot, but just enough to make it like he's coming stomping down on you. You know, we'll get some pictures like this or something, but looks really good. What do you think? Definitely happy with it. You know, overall, I'm going to give this what, 8 out of 10. So, I just wish the, uh, the plastic from break as easy. Yeah, so out of the package, we already have one casualty. Um, We're kind of a... Uh, you know, we'll be able to glue it, don't get me wrong, but it is so brittle. But, you know, all in all, I'm really happy with this. If I uh, had to give a recommendation, I would definitely recommend you to get it. You're going to have a great time with this set of toys. You know, I see hours and hours of enjoyment here between photography, posing. He's a little hard to stand up. He's yeah. got a little extra weight to him. All of them aren't as easy as you would hope, but they are doable. You know, he doesn't have time. any uh, peg holes in his feet. The rest actually do. So, at least you will be able to use some stands. That makes a hell of a difference. And like I said, look at this all together. Who doesn't want to have this set in their collection? Well, thank you so much, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the Budget Collector. The Collector Crew is growing every day. As you see, we're bringing some of the coolest looking stuff. Not enough people are showing these off, in my opinion. So we had to make sure we were. Next, you'll be watching an amazing diorama from Carvar Customs. Um, I'm going to be doing a series. I bought three dioramas from them so far. We're going to be doing one a day over the next few days. So make sure you watch, share, comment, hit him up, hit me up. Thank you again. Peace.